Hello everyone, welcome to Mini Orange. In this video, we are going to set up SAML single sign on for ASP.NET web applications using Okta as IDP. Let's get started. Follow the instructions in the link displayed on the screen to install the Mini Orange ASP.NET Samuel module, or you can access the link in the video description for more information. Once the plugin is installed, open your browser and browse the connector dashboard with the URL showing on the screen. If the registration page or login page pops up, you have successfully added the Mini Orange SAML SSO connector to your application. Register or log in with your account by clicking the Register or Login button to configure the module. After login, click on Plugin Settings tab, and you will see the Identity Provider list here. This module is compatible with all the IDPs showing on the screen, and all other SAML compliant IDPs. If your IDP name is not on the default list, you can configure your IDP using the Custom IDP option. Select Okta from the list, and click on it. For ASP.NET SAML configuration, you will need IDP metadata, which can be found from your application admin dashboard. Here, we will be using Okta as IDP. Let's configure the Okta as IDP. Go to Applications tab and select Applications. Click on Create App Integrations. Select Sign in Method as SAML, and click on Next. In the General Settings section, enter name for your app and click on Next. Here, you need to fill up the SP Entity ID and the Audience URL, which you will get from the SP Metadata. For SP Metadata go to the ASP.NET SAML module. At the right side of the screen, you will find the Service Provider Metadata. You can have three options to provide the metadata to your IDP. Copy the required URLs and paste them into the corresponding fields in the Okta. Select the name ID format and application username according to your preference. Enter attribute names according to your preference. Click on Next button. Click on Finish. You can find the IDP metadata under the Sign On section. Click on the Identity Provider Metadata link. Copy the metadata URL. It will require later to configure Mini Orange ASP.NET SAML module. Now, let's assign the Okta application to the users. Go to Assignments tab. Click on Assign button to assign the people. Once you assign the people, click on Done button. Go to ASP.NET SAML module and click on Upload IDP Metadata button. Under Enter Metadata URL field, paste the metadata URL which we have copied from Okta. Click on Fetch Metadata button. As you can see all the details are autofield. Scroll down and click on Save button. After that click on Test Configuration button to test the configuration. Sign in with your Okta credentials. On Successful Configuration, you will get the user attributes. Now, you can click on Click Here link or you can also Click on Continue SSO Integration button to further continue with the SSO integration. It will redirect you to the Integration Code section. Just copy paste the code snippet, wherever you want access the user attributes. I have pasted the code snippet here. Now, we will perform the SSO, for that, add the URL which is showing on the screen, as a link in your application from where you want to perform SSO. As an example, I have used the SSO link as a button in my code. Let's see how it works. Go to your application URL, and you will be able to see the SSO link button, which we have added for SSO. Click on the SSO button. Sign in with your Okta credentials. You have successfully logged into your ASP.NET web application. Thank you for watching this video. For any other questions please drop us a query at info at securify.com.